from PolaroidedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to create this awesome intro. Alright, that looks pretty cool. If you don't wish to follow this tutorial or you want to support our YouTube channel, you can always buy the intro template with the link in our description. For those that do want to know how to do it, let's fire up After Effects and get started. Alright, here we are in Adobe After Effects and I will create a new composition. We'll rename this to Main Comp, make it Full HD and around 10 seconds long, click OK. And right here I will go to my text tool. So write something down, tolerate it. I'm using the font Lado and then I will click on my selection tool and go to the align tab and just center out my text like so. Then I will right click in my composition, new solid and I will choose a black background. Click OK, BG for background and put this below my text. Now I have my text right here and now what we actually want to do is give it some kind of distortion effect and to do that I will create a new composition and this will be my displacement mat. Click OK and then create a new solid layer right here and we'll rename this to fractal noise and then we are going to apply of course the effect fractal noise that's under noise and grain right here we have the fractal noise effect. For the noise type I will pick a block effect. And for the complexity, I will change the 6 to 2. And then I will go into my brightness and hold all on my keyboard, click on the stopwatch for the brightness and write wiggle, open parentheses, 20 comma 500 and close it. And now it's going to wiggle in between a value of 500 and there you can see it's switching between black and white. And actually I wanted to do a little bit less, maybe something like 250. And now we're going to get like nice values in between these uh, settings. So then we're going to open up the transform tab right here and just uncheck uniform scaling. Then we're going to hold alt again and click, well, uncheck uniform scaling, alt and stopwatch for the width. And also write wiggle, open parentheses 25 comma 500 and then close the, uh, close it down. Hold control, press A on the keyboard to select it and copy it, control C. And then I'm going to scroll down a little bit and hold Alt and click on the height as well. So right here for the scale height, just paste exactly the same expression right here. And now it's going to uh, wiggle in between all these kind of settings and it's going to show you like big bars, small bars. And actually I wanted to start on a bigger, uh, well, a little bit wider right here and also a little bit higher. So we can still change these values and then it's going to wiggle from that value and so on. So um, just pick something that you like. I think this is starting to look pretty cool. And then I'm going to hold Alt and click on the stopwatch for the evolution and this will be the last uh, expression we'll have to type. So that's time times 500 and that's going to animate it a little bit more. So I uh, don't really have to do that, but um, yeah, more animation is a little bit better, I think. Go back to your main composition and we're going to the project manager and just add our displacement math right here into our scene and uncheck it so it's invisible. Now we can do two things. Uh, one thing that I've done is change this uh, for the text. If we toggle the switches, the track math to a luma math and that's going to uh, show everything that's white and that you can uh, do something like this, which is also pretty cool. And then like right here. Uh, you can do some really cool transitions with uh, with that. So you can also duplicate your text and put it on top and like offset it until here and make sure that it, uh, it doesn't have a track mat. But then it's going to flick around like so. So that's pretty cool. Then I'm going to create a new adjustment layer on top of everything and rename this to displacement. Make sure that your text that you duplicated is set to no track mat, so it's completely clean. And for the displacement adjustment layer, we're going to affect distort and displacement map right here. We're going to select our layer, uh, exactly the same layer here for the displacement map, but I'm going to duplicate it and put it right here and just displacement, rename to displacement. And then we can select it right here as our layer and wrap pixels around and now it's going to yeah, distort our image using that 
layer as a reference. Everything that's white is going to shift the other way, everything that's black is going to shift another way, and that way you can do some really cool stuff with this. And of course, if you're going to increase these values, you're going to get more glitch like this. And of course, you can uh, go like right over here and then click on the stopwatches for the intensity, move one frame forward and set this to zero and then press U on the keyboard to reveal these keyframes right here. Now we're going to get an animation like this, so that's pretty cool. I'm actually going to make it a little bit quicker. So I'm going to uh, set my text layer, my final text layer right here. And now we have something popping on our screen like this. And then like maybe right here, we want to create new keyframes, one frame forward, increase it a little bit. And then right here, zero this out again. So that way you can do some really cool stuff. You can also go into the text right here, press S on the keyboard, hold shift and press P on the keyboard to reveal the scale and the position and click on the stopwatch right here. So we create new keyframes, move one frame forward and we're going to increase our scale like so. Just make sure that we actually trim these down as well. So we're going to trim this down so we don't see the other text. And then we can reposition this like right here move one frame forward and we can right click reset right here move one frame forward again and maybe scale it even more and again one frame forward and reset it and that way we're going to get something more like this so you can do some extra kind of glitches here of course maybe you want to do some of these as well So that looks pretty cool. And like right here now, I want to do some kind of RGB shift, um, some kind of chromatic aberration is, uh, is the name for it. Um, if we have the text and I'm going to duplicate it, we want to add an effect, generate fill. And right here, we currently have a red color, which is fine. Now we need to duplicate that effect. And right here, we want to pick a blue color. I'm going to set my red to zero and my blue to 255. And then we have a perfect blue color. Duplicate that layer once more. And we're going to uh, zero out our blue and just max our green. Click OK. So now we have the three um, colors that we actually need to create white and how to create light on your screen. So everything is RGB. Uh, so we're going to change this to additive. You can also go for screen and uh, it's going to do exactly the same. And then what you can do is uh, play with the offset. Like right now, if I'm going to offset one of these texts with my arrows on the keyboard, you're going to see this shift and you can do some really cool stuff with that. So if we are going to undo this for now, what I will do is actually press P on the keyboard for all of these and I'm going to delete this keyframe. So we have we have this kind of animation. Like right here, I'm going to create new keyframes. Move one frame forward. And maybe we want to offset our greens to the left and maybe this to the right. Now we have these kind of colors. Looks pretty cool. Move one frame forward and maybe animate them a little bit better. Maybe more into position so it doesn't look too much. and then just reset them one frame further. And now if we're going to preview just this portion, so I'm going to trim my comp right here using the B and N key on my keyboard, you can get some something like this. So that's pretty cool. Um, but also what you can do is if you don't want to do this manually, you can hold all and click on the stopwatch for this position and write wiggle comma and well open parentheses 25 comma, uh, maybe like three and close it down and just copy copy the wiggle uh, preset and go for the second one and also alt click here and paste it right here. Now you're going to get this kind of shifting effect all the time so uh, you can do some really cool stuff with that as well. You can do the same thing for this text right here. Maybe you want a little bit more. And of course if you're going to increase this value or decrease this value uh, it's going to give you different results. So pretty cool as well. So that's how you basically do all the kind of glitch effects that you see in the intro. And let's say we have our text and it comes up 
on our screen. So now we have our text appearing. We have some cool glitch effects, RGB shift in there. And then right here, I want to transition to another text. So what I will do is just uh, click here and just uh, trim my text down. So I don't have anything right here. Now we have a clean start, maybe right here. Subscribe now. I'm going to write this right here and then also align this in the center of my of my canvas right here. I'm going to trim it right here so that we have a nice shift effect like so. Then we can of course duplicate this effect uh, again uh, for the RGB if you want to. So I'm not going to do that right now because you already know how to do that. Uh, but then something else I've done is go and create a new adjustment layer. And this was like the transition. And actually what is really cool in the transition um, is if we go to the layer before, just uh, go back into the position right here. So I'm going to select all of these, press P on the keyboard. So we have some animation. I just want to do something very quickly, create new keyframes and then like right here offset them in the, a little bit more. So we have some more variation. Okay. And this is our end shot. And like right here, we also want to do something, but we can do that later on. We can click on our transition adjustment layer now, and then we're going to effect distort and we need optic compensation right here if you click on that uh, we can increase this value and you're going to see that it's going to make it like a bulge effect and now we have to select reverse lens distortion and we're going to get something like this and that way you can get some really cool stuff if you have all these colors on the edges you get some really cool uh, style uh, well you get a really cool style here on the edges so right here at the end um, I want to create a new keyframe and then go a free few frames forward uh, backwards actually set this to zero press you on the keyboard so, to, so you can see the keyframes right here and then like right here I'm going to set this to zero as well and now we have this kind of transition so that's pretty cool uh, another thing that you can do is hold alt and click on the stopwatch for the view center and also write wiggle comma 25 uh, well open parentheses 25 comma maybe something like uh, 500 as well and close it down now it's going to wiggle uh, in between all these kind of positions and you're going to get a nice shake in there. So that's also pretty cool. So playing with wiggle uh, is actually basically what's going to get you these glitch effects because wiggle is random, yeah, just random values in between um, whatever you want. So um, to basically explain it, you have 25 times a second, it's going to change a value 500 times. So for those that didn't know that, uh, you do now so uh, if you have like one it's going to one time a second it's going to change at 500 and one is of course going to be very slow because it's only once a second that's going to move the value as you can see right here if you're going to set this to 100 it's going to do yeah it's going to shake really crazy of course you're not going to see past 30 because we only have 30 fps uh, so yeah but now we're getting too much into deal in detail I suppose okay so basically that's how to do everything and how to achieve that glitch effect and of course you can still go into the displacement right here because we used an adjustment layer for that we can click new keyframes move one frame forward and again offset our glitch effect and now we have some glitch like so and then like right here create new keyframes and zero these out one frame further and if we're going to preview this We got some cool stuff like that. So uh, again, you can duplicate it, add these um, colors and also set these to add. And then you can do some chromatic aberration there as well. And apart from that, that's all you should know to create exactly the same intro as you saw in the beginning of this video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a like and also subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye. <laughs>